Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Whether you're old or new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notifications so you see whenever I drop a new video and give this video a big thumbs up. I'm keeping today's intro short and sweet because I don't want it to be too long. But as you can see from the title, this video is going to be a review of the Peter Thomas Roth Skin Mask. So I actually use Peter Thomas Ross skincare. I use his cleanser. I use the moisturizer, the toner, everything. I use it and I'm really a big fan of the product. It's a little bit more on the expensive side. So keep that in mind. But I really do like it. Like as a young adult, like wanting to have a good skincare regimen. I like it. The price is high, like I said, but it's good quality. My skin is looking great. I do have on foundation right now, but I don't use a lot of foundation. So yes, my skin is looking great. I feel like I have like a fresh look all the time, even when I'm not wearing makeup. So I really do love the Peter Thomas Roth skincare. And if you guys want, I can do a skincare routine um, for another video so you guys can see the actual products that I use on a day-to-day -day basis But for today, I'm just gonna be showing you guys the six masks that I got I actually found this box at Marshall's for $19.99 around the holidays so like Around November time. I was like shopping for other people and I happened to see it and I was like Oh my god, I have to get it because these masks are really expensive the masks are about $60 for one jar now don't get me wrong, it's a nice size jar, but $60 is a lot to invest into something if you don't know if you're gonna like it. So I hadn't actually tried any of the masks. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, this is perfect. I'm gonna try them all and then I'll pick whichever one or two, whatever, that I like the most. So I'm gonna do six different days and I'm gonna put them all into this one video so you guys can see um, each day me doing the mask and I'll be telling you guys exactly um, what each mask says that they do, what they're supposed to be for. And then I'll give you guys my honest review of what I think the mask do for me personally. Um, I typically have pretty normal skin. Like I'm not really dry or oily. I'm pretty normal. But I do need a good mask sometime to like really get in there, you know, get those pores together. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Get it together, girl, because it's all type of seasons. In Houston, one day it's hot, one day it's cold. My skin is like... So whatever, <laughs> if you guys want to see the review of these six masks, um, if you've seen any of these, these six masks, stay tuned and we're going to jump right into the video. Okay, you guys, so it is day one of my mask and I'm going to be doing the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. It's the Extreme Detox Hydrator necessary i'm gonna post a picture of it in the video somewhere so you guys can see everything that it has in it and it says to apply a generous coat to clean skin and i've already washed my face i use the peter thomas roth water drink cloud water drench can't even talk cloud cream cleanser so if you guys want more info about my regular skincare routine i can let you guys know but this is the face wash i use and it's working pretty well as you guys can see my skin is pretty decent it's not perfect but it's decent so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this mask and it says let it remain on for 10 minutes so i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on and then i'll show you guys after so here we go let's do it i'm just wetting my face first just a little water and then i'm just gonna apply i'll show you guys what it looks like so it's just like a green, doesn't really have a smell. Mm, kind of smells like face wash. So it said apply a generous amount. So we're gonna put a nice amount on there. It just goes on clear. It's green when you squirt it on your hand, but once you like rub it in some, it turns clear. Sorry, I'm super close. I've never filmed in my bathroom before, so it's kind of weird. Okay. So far, I feel nothing. It just feels like I have nothing on my face. I mean, like, I can feel that something's there, but it doesn't really feel like anything particular. So, we'll put it on there. And it says, 
remain on for 10 minutes and then rinse off with cool water oh and it also said if you want a cool treatment you can refrigerate the product so should have read that beforehand and i maybe would have done that but it's okay we're gonna make it work so i'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes and then i'll come back and i'll let you guys know what it feels like and we're back okay y'all so i waited my 10 minutes and i washed it off and i'm just gonna say i like it i do i feel like my skin feels like it's tight you know but not in a way where it's like ooh, ooh it's dry it feels moisturized and tight like i feel like it's firm um i don't know i look crazy right now but i like it right now that's 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 at the top of the list it's the first one so couldn't go wrong um but right now i really do like it like okay let me get on a real review review you know let, let me make sure i'm telling y'all like it is um i do feel like my skin feels tight it feels moisturized i feel like um you know it's together like i don't know i don't really have like like i said in the intro clip i don't really have like problem skin my skin is not really like oh i look crazy my skin is not really like oily or dry so i don't really have like a lot to go off like i feel like i have really normal skin if that makes sense but i do feel like this mask gave me a little rejuvenation we'll see tomorrow if it's like you know after overnight if it gives me like a more glow because that's what i'm personally looking for in a mask like a glow but i do feel like this helped like give me some moisture back in my skin because it can't get dry the way the weather is out here but so far so good i like it i'll let you guys know what i think about the end but stay tuned for the next clips so you can see all okay that. guys it is day two of my six days of mask and today i have on the 24 karat gold mask it says pure luxury lift and firm mask and i can already feel that it's different than the green one um like i said when i had the green one on yesterday i felt like i didn't have anything on like it felt like straight water this one feels like thicker and then it feels like warm on my face like I guess the other one was like a cooling mask. It was like a cooling gel mask. And this one is just like the 24 karat gold. So it definitely feels like a warm sensation. I feel that there's something on me. Like I'm kind of hot. It's making me a little spicy. Um, you can't really see because it's on my skin. But I'll apply like a little bit more so you guys can see. Um, it comes out and it's like a gold. Like straight up gold. If y'all can see my little turd. Um... So, yeah, and then when you apply it, it just applies clear. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to be putting on, like, a ton. But, I mean, you can clearly see that I have something on my face. It's not, like, like, you can see up here it's, like, gold-ish. It doesn't stay on gold. So, this one says to keep it on for 5 to 10 minutes. I'm going to keep it on for the whole 10, and I'll let y'all know what I look like after. And we're back how I look do I look clean and refreshed um so my skin definitely feels tight like especially up here I feel like it's like pulling my skin and I'm not lying like I really only have it on for 10 minutes 10 ish minutes and I do feel like some tightness here so I wonder if tomorrow it'll look amazing um the one thing I did notice is y'all see that little bitty bump right there um, that was not there before I started. So, I don't know what happened. So, let's just pray that it's not a pimple tomorrow because, yeah, I wouldn't say I necessarily have, like, sensitive skin. So, you know, when something kind of gives me a bump, I'm a little concerned. But I do feel a tightening here. I don't feel it anywhere else, but, like, mostly in my cheeks. So, it says it's supposed to firm and tighten. So we're going to see if I feel firm and tight tomorrow. Stay tuned for the next one. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing the Blue Marine Algae Intense Hydrating Mask. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right. Algae, algae. Y'all know what I meant. Tomorrow. Next clip. Keep watching. Tune in. 
it's day three of my mask and yes i have my bonnet on because i'm tired of my hair getting in the way so day three and i am using the blue one it's the blue marine algae intense hydrating mask so it's on my face you can't really see it real thin i put on a lot but it seems still very thin um about the gold one from yesterday. So I had this one on yesterday, the 24 karat gold. Um, honestly, not really a fan of it. Like I think that initially when I took it off, my skin felt like tight, like around my cheeks. But today I felt like my skin was kind of dry. Like I haven't been doing like my normal skincare routine because I've been doing these masks and I'm like, this is a lot. I've still been like washing my face but I haven't been putting on my normal stuff, like all the stuff I normally wear. So there's that. But I do feel like day one when I did the green mask, the cucumber gel mask, I felt like the next day my skin was really like moisturized. But today I didn't feel that. Like I felt kind of sticky. Like not super sticky, but just my skin just felt... I don't know if oily is the word. I don't know. It just felt off. So I'm personally not a fan of the 24 karat gold. So far, I still think the green one, the the cucumber gel mask is my favorite. Um, and I think it's because it's a hydrator. Like, I think I like the hydrating feel. So yeah, right now, the green one is still, here they are. The green one is still in first place. And then here's the gold one. We still have three more days to go. Um... Like I said, today I'm doing the Blue Marine. So it's on my face now. It's said to keep it on for 10 minutes. I have had it on for four minutes. So I got six minutes left. So I'm going to come right back to y'all once I wash it off. Um, Right now, it, this one actually feels like there's something on me. Like I said, with the green one, I didn't feel like it was anything there. It felt like water. This one did, does feel like there's something there. I kind of get that tingly feeling. Um, And this one is also an intense hydrating mask. So... We're going to see, in comparison to the green one, do I feel like this one hydrated more? So we shall see, and I'll be right back. Okay. I did my 10 minutes, and this is the result. Um, so I just feel normal right now. I don't really feel anything different. Um, Like I said, it did tingle a little bit, so I still kind of feel that sensation, even though I washed it off. Like, it's definitely gone. Um, like yesterday, I felt the gold one like right away lifting. This one, I feel kind of like a little tingle. So we'll see tomorrow how I feel. Was it hydrating? Was it not? We'll see. But keep in mind, y'all, that you're usually supposed to do these masks a few times before you start to see results. So just know that these are just one day trials. So none of this is bond, you know? Is that the word? Is that what people say? My word. My word is my bond, though. Like, I'm being honest, you know? Um, but this is not like, oh my God, mm -mm, don't do that one. But so far, the green one's my favorite. Don't really like the gold one. Um, the blue one seems okay. So we'll see you tomorrow. See y'all then for day four. <laughs> it's day four of my mask. And yes, I look different. I don't have on my robe. And that is because I did this one in the morning. I've been doing all the other ones after I shower at night, but I decided to take a break last night. And I look good, okay? I actually really like this one. <laughs> now nah, I'm playing, okay, but <laughs> I use the Rose Stem Cell Bio Repair Gel Mask. And I actually really like it. Like, <laughs> you guys, like, this is the first one where I felt like immediate like gratification. Like, you look good, sis. Y'all see the little, y'all see my cheeks is bright i mean that's also skincare overall but i feel like my skin is really moisturized and i haven't even put my moisturizer on yet um i feel like i'm i got a nice little glowy look to my face um and 
the reason why I really like this is because I do not like the smell of rose. So it stank. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, it stank. I don't like the smell of rose. So yeah. But I really like this. Like right now, this has jumped up to number one. Um, I you know, I already did it. I put it on, it went on thick. It was a nice thick layer. I didn't feel like it was water like the green one or like too sticky. It was it was sticky, but it wasn't super sticky. And then it kind of just like went into my face. I didn't feel any tingling like with the blue one. And just a review of the blue one from the last clip. I did like this one. Um, I felt like I was hydrated throughout the day and that's probably because it's a hydrating mask. And I did feel hydrated, but this pink one just took the cake. So right now, I think the pink one is in first place. And then the blue and the green are like tied for second. The gold one, I don't know. I just didn't really like it. So yeah, stay tuned for the next clip. <coughs> okay, y'all. <laughs> Today is actually day six of the mask. But as you can see, this is only the fifth clip. And the reason why is because I accidentally skipped a day. And sorry, I have a dog, so I'm just looking to see what she's doing. I accidentally skipped a day. So I had to do two in one so I can make sure I, I give you guys this content um, as promised on Sunday. So anyway, on this side of my face, I have the Irish Moor Mud Purifying Black Mask. Do not do black face, kids. And on this side, I have the pumpkin enzyme mask. So this one says it's purifying, refining, decongestion, etc., etc. I'll post a picture up here so you guys can see what it's supposed to do. Um, this one obviously went on thick. Um, like I said, the other mask that I've been wearing, like the last few days, have been a little more thin. Didn't feel like really there was much there. This one, it doesn't feel like anything is there. Like if I was just like not looking at myself and seeing this black part of my face, I probably wouldn't even remember that I had something on. So I do like that. Um, obviously it goes on thick. Obviously your face is about to be black. It's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then this one is an enzymatic. Did I say that right? Enzymatic? Enzymatic? Correct me, whatever. Um, dermal resurfacer. So this one actually has like, I don't know if you can see, but it has like the little beads in there. So like you're supposed to actually rub this one into your face um, and you can feel the beads. It is pumpkin and I don't really like the smell of pumpkin. So to me, this one stinks. But remember I told y'all the rose one didn't smell so good, but I really liked it. So we're gonna let the smell do what it is but yes i have both of these on this one says to leave on for three to seven minutes and this says to leave on for 10 minutes i put this one on first and then i put this one on second so then we're gonna see this one is actually like tingling like i feel it working like how i told you guys i think it was the blue one that like i felt like something was something was there um Oh, I'm trying not to like lick this, but it's making my lips dry. Um, this one definitely feels like there's something there. Like there's something working. And yes, I'm back with my bonnet because I didn't want to get this black stuff all of my hair. So I'll be back once I wash this off. Be right back. Y'all tired of me yet? No? Great. And we're back. So, just rinse these off. And... I just want to say my pink mask has some competition. This one, another stinky mask that I really like. My skin on this side feels so, so soft. Like this side feels just, I don't know, kind of dry, not dry. I don't want to say dry, but like it's not giving me that like smooth feeling that this side is giving me. It kind of feels tight actually. Like, I don't know. I feel like I look asymmetrical now. Is that the right word? Yeah, asymmetrical. <laughs> Tripping, but this one is supposed to 
It's supposed to be hydrating, decongesting, refining, and hydrating. Not feeling that. This one, it's a resurfacer. So I do feel like it worked. I feel like it did what it's supposed to do. Like, I feel like my skin is actually really, really soft. I really, really like this. I don't want to say I dislike this, but in comparison, this one is like, I really like masks that hydrate, like I said. So, um... Well, it says it draws out toxins and impurities, so I guess I could sleep on it and see. But I don't hate it. Like, I think the only one that I really disliked was the gold one. But this one feels fine. But this orange one, like, I probably, if I were to go and, like, buy some, I probably wouldn't buy this one. I would buy this one for sure. Pains me to say this because I know this costs $60 because I bought one of them for my friend. And I'm just like... $60 really y'all need that much money for some pumpkin seeds but okay keep watching and I'll give y'all the final review okay so here is my final review of the mask so in first place it's a tie between the rose stem cell bio repair gel mask and the pumpkin enzyme mask which is an enzymatic dermal resurfacer these two honestly took the cake for me i like instant satisfaction and everything i know you can't always have that but i felt like like i'm still rubbing my face from it but i felt like out of all six masks these two were the two where i felt like i felt a difference in my skin and like even looking at me now i feel like this side just looks brighter like after doing the orange one versus the black one a second ago um this side to me just looks brighter now i might just be crazy but i don't know i like it so out of the all six i think these would be the two that i would purchase first and then in second place is these three actually um i know i'm supposed to do one two three four five six but I'm indecisive. Y'all will soon learn that if you continue to watch my channel. I hope you do. But second place. Well, actually, I'll give these two second place. Then this one third. And then this one fourth. These two, very similar to me. Um, they both are very hydrating. And they both are intense hydrating masks. Like, the blue one is Blue Marine Algae Intense Hydrating Mask. And then the green one is Cucumber Gel Mask Extreme Detoxifying Hydrator. So both of these are super hydrating. And I definitely feel like the day after doing these masks, my skin was definitely hydrated. So like, I couldn't really decide between the two. Like I felt that they were pretty close. Um, the green one, when I put it on my face, the reason I put the green one behind the blue one is because when I put the green one on my face, I felt like there was nothing there. And I like to feel it working. But the blue one, I could feel it actually working. Like I felt it in my skin, if that makes sense. And then the black one, I'm kind of indifferent on. Like, I don't have really any complaints about it. But like I said, I'm going to maybe sleep on it. Because, like, this side of my face just does not feel as, like, moisturized as this side. And, like, if I'm going to spend a pretty penny on something, I want to feel the difference. So, in the future, maybe I'll do another review about this one just so I can give y'all, like, an overnight. But as of now, not my favorite. And then the gold one. I just didn't like it because the next day my skin felt really sticky like not like syrupy but like it just didn't feel normal it felt like it was just like I had leftover product and sorry if y'all hear like a crazy manic dog barking it's somebody's dog in my apartment my editing skills are not that good to edit that out and keep me in so just bear with me but anyway that's my final review Definitely recommend these two, the Rose Stem Cell and the Pumpkin Enzyme. Definitely recommend these two if you want to like feel like your skin is like refreshed and new. If you want just something that's hydrating, go with one of these two, the Blue Marine or the Cucumber Gel. And then, I don't know, try at your own risk these two, which will be the Irish More Mud and then the 24 Karat Gold. Don't just think because it's gold, it's going to be everything that glitters is not gold, okay? So... <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I gave you guys a good sense of like what these masks were like. I know I'm probably not that good at explaining everything, but 
I hope you get the gist. I hope you like this video. And if you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, click the post notification bell and give this video a video. <laughs> give this video a big thumbs up. Usually when I do stuff like that, I would start over. But I'm not starting over because I just filmed that whole thing. So no. Y'all just don't have to see me as I am. I'm not perfect. Nobody perfect, babe. All right. <laughs> That's it. See you guys next week. And again, thanks for watching. Bye.